Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back uh, in the art studio because it's frost, winter weather outside. It's beautiful, but uh, not a lot I can do in the garden. So I'm back in my inner garden. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about making art with or unfound objects. Um, I, uh, I'm often overwhelmed with the fact of seeing how much stuff we actually throw out sometimes when we go to the landfill. It's just piles and piles and piles of stuff. And, and even when you walk in nature, even here in Denmark, you find lots of plastic, lots of strange things uh, on the beaches and stuff like that. Um, so this making art on or with found ob objects is, is actually my way of sort of trying to look at all the things we throw out, all the things we can find that, that as a resource, as something that could actually turn into something fun or beautiful or interesting, strange, funny, I don't know. So this is my take on that. So I'm just going to show you some of the strange pieces and, and tell you a little bit about how, how they came to be. Uh, and I thought this is a this is a great example. We we do a lot of walks on uh, the beaches, and uh, this is a piece of driftwood. And uh, to some people, it's not really beautiful, but to me, it's amazing and uh, interesting in the way that all the green spots of paint were already on the board when I found it. And so I picked it up and looked at it and and just sort of worked with the piece and, and, and letting the spots decide where the flowers are. It gives a very sort of random feel that I couldn't really make myself. So I think that's part of why it's really interesting to make art with found objects. It gives you um, opportunities that you couldn't really uh, make. I think so that's uh, that's interesting another another part here is actually a piece of a wooden panel from a piece of furniture that I found on the landfill and um, you can't really see it maybe but it's layers and layers and layers of chalk paint and I just worked a lot of uh, uh, watercolors and some ink and stuff like that to give it this sort of dreamy feel and that could only happen because you have all these layers of chalk paint. So that's just, uh, that's interesting to me uh, in, in the creative process. And we are standing right next to another strange project that's also on the landfill. I found some Barbie dolls and I, I always really disliked Barbie dolls. I think it's a very reductive way of looking at the uh, feminine power, energy, expression. So I took the dolls home and I cut all their hair off, which was very cathartic, wonderful thing. <laughs> I recommend it. And then I stuck pins in their heads, so now they're pin heads. And I took a branch from the forest garden and uh, now it's a Barbie tree. And suddenly I like the Barbies much more and uh, I can look at them in a different way. And uh, yeah, why not? Why not have a Barbie tree uh, if you can, if you have space for it? Um, so that's just a few examples. You never know what, what, what you find is going to trigger. Uh, and there are so many different ways to work with things. Um, I thought actually also explaining maybe these boards that are also something I found on the landfill. Um, they are just wooden boards or, um, yeah, well, I, I think there's some from, from some farm uh, somewhere on the island. And uh, there are no rot or anything, but they're just maybe 150 years old or something. And, and they're in really quite good shape. And they have this green, green paint on them. And this paint, of course, is very old. So a lot of chemistry in it that's probably not very good. But that in itself is giving me some opportunity, opportunities that I wouldn't have if I just painted a, a wooden board green and worked on it. So what I did was I, I, um, I put some uh, 
metal leaf, uh, gold uh, colored metal leaf on it and then I put acid on top uh, and it gives this incredible uh, effect of all kinds of different colors are coming out and even this piece and this piece also is changing with the light that moves in, in the room during the day. So I really enjoy that. And it's very random. It's not something I can control. I have to put the, the metal leaf on and I have to put the acid on, but I can't really control it. So they are made on two different evenings with frost. Uh, so I put the leaf and I put the acid and I put them outside for a night and then I woke up to this. And I like this kind of um, random feel that I'm not in control. Um, another, another example I thought was uh, I've had fun making is this, this painting. You know, sometimes when you order something from the internet, I know we all do, you, it comes wrapped with or with crunched pieces of different kinds of paper. And I always keep these papers. These are all brown papers. And uh, then I've just with some acrylic paint and some wood glue and uh, these uh, pieces of torn paper from the parcels. Um, I've made this uh, and then someone gave me a couple of rolls of old wallpaper and then the piece turns into this. And I didn't intend it, it's just something that's happening and the materials that I find or are given or I buy in thrift stores sometimes are actually what makes the pieces come alive. And to me that's, that's interesting and uh, mm, inspiring in a way. So I, I get to look at things as a resource, whatever I find, it could be potentially a resource. That's also a problem sometimes because I have piles of stuff everywhere. But um, this, this piece is uh, underway. Uh, it's also uh, uh, something we found on the beach and there's a smear of uh, cement. Uh, it looks amazing. I think it looks like clouds in the, in the sky. And then I'm just trying to work out with strange things that I found how, how this might be interesting. And I don't know it's, where it's going to end up, but just trying a lot of different things out. Um, and this can be varnished so that it doesn't really um, scale so much as it does right now. But until I know if I'm using it, I'm not going to do that. Um, Last thing is maybe showing you the, the Noah's Ark I made here is uh, also collecting, collecting all these beings uh, from the landfill or thrift shops or when we travel. I collected all these cute or strange figures and, uh, and then I put it on top of a, a large piece of driftwood. It's um, like a Noah's Ark, earthlings I call it, and, uh, and it's a part of a ship that's already sunk. So you can uh, make of it what you want. Uh, but but this, this looking at everything as a kind of resource, maybe it could inspire something creative or funny or beautiful or entertaining. I don't know. Uh, that's some of the ways I use things I find. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you later.